hello in this video you are going to learn the first toolbar in AutoCAD that is draw toolbar so this this is a draw toolbar and the first command from this draw toolbar is point command so either you can type point here or you can choose the point from uh, this button so you can take this point and just find the different points but it is not visible properly so you need to set the uh, PD mode and PD size so use escape button and use the PD mode you can set the PD mode 1 2 3 so I will set here 3 mode so that points are highlighted here you can change it into um, different mode so you can put it here 2 also the next command is PD size PD size it will uh, manage the size of the point so I can set the size equal to 10 so that will increase if you reduce if you want to reduce it same command you can use and you can set the 3 or 4 then you, if you want to delete it just click it and select all these and use delete button if you want to just undo it so you can use the control J the next command from this toolbar is line command so you can type line here or you can choose line from here so take this line so first point second point so you can join the different points for drawing the line you can use the escape button to come out from the line command then next is if you want to draw the straight line so you need to on the ortho button and if you take this line so that would be exactly straight line suppose if you want to draw the particular dimension uh, then you can put the dimension 100 enter if you want this side let us take a 20 enter you can take this side 25 so likewise you can set the dimension for particular line and you can choose the line like this you can delete it or you can take this select all and delete the next command is circle command so circle command you can click the circle command and it will ask you specify center of the circle so anywhere you can set the center and you can give the radius or directly you can click anywhere randomly it will select if you want particular radius so you can set the radius like 20 so that 20 radius circle will be generated on the screen then next command is rectangle so rectangle you need to take rectangle and select the first point and select second point otherwise you can use the coordinates also in the last video we have seen next command is polygon so there are two options one is the edge option or you can give the center option so if I will go through this polygon then polygon uh, suppose if you want to draw the pentagon so you need to set the five sides you need to set first side for the polygon press enter here are specify center of the polygon or edge option suppose if I want to draw the pentagon with a 30 mm side then you need to set the edge option E enter after this you supposed to draw first point uh, or set the first point and uh, give the ready uh, that whatever the side let us take a 30 side so enter so that pentagon will be generated with a 30 side the next I will show you here I will draw first 30 mm radius circles same circle I will draw here one more then uh, there are one more option in polygon so here I will set the pentagon same five sides specify center of the polygon so I will exactly set the 
center of the polygon is is uh, same as the center of the circle it is not showing so when it is showing you need to click that point then here are two options inscribe circle and circumscribe circle so if you want to draw the polygon inside the circle you need to use the inscribe circle and if you need to draw the polygon outside the circle you have to uh, choose the circumscribe circle or you can put it here i for inscribe enter then uh, you have to set the radius equal to radius of the circle so i will set the 30 so that would be uh, inside the circle then same i will use for hexagon so for hexagon you need to set six sides select the center of the circle or polygon if it is not showing you need to wet and choose circumscribe circle so once again i will do it circumscribe 6 enter select the center point and 30 so that would be circumscribe and this is an inscribe now next command is your construction line basically this is for just for reference skip so these are the construction lines infinite length then next is polyline suppose if I draw this line and at a certain point if I want to draw the arc so you can put it there a enter so from that point you will start drawing arc again if you want to draw the line so L enter so that line will be generated so like this you can draw this or you can use this polyline then arc option so there are uh, different types of arc you can find um, from this draw and find the arc so different points you will get about the arc same for circle tangent tangent radius and uh, two point circle three point circles are available center radius are available so you can just use it uh, by uh, going to this draw toolbar then I will show you how to use the arc so first point second point and third point so this is three point arc you can use in this way you can use the different options from the arc also start center in and uh, start center in start uh, center angle so these are the different options from the arc I'll show you now uh, this circle option tangent tangent radius and tangent 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 so I'll show you here suppose if, if I want to draw the circle tangent to these two lines so you need to go to draw toolbar circle tangent tangent radius or ten, uh, tangent tangent radius select the first point second point and set the radius whatever you want so that circle is tangent to these two lines suppose uh, one circle is required to draw tangent to the two circles so you can go to this draw circle tangent 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 select the first point then select the second point select the third point the automatically the circle will be generated on the screen which is tangent to three circles now uh, this one is a cloud so you can use this cloud toolbar it generates the cloud like drive so this is what the cloud next one is a spline so you can draw the spline like this so this is what the spline then 
ellipse for the ellipse you need to draw the major axis and minor axis so first let us consider this is major and this is minor so this is ellipse next one is ellipse arc so it will create the elliptical arc then uh, we will see hatch suppose if you want to hatch the particular uh, entity so you need to go to the hatch then select here pattern of hatching then there are two options add pick points or select object so you can select the object press enter then go to the uh, preview so it is too dense so you need to change the scale so i will put it there 20 and just take a preview so it is okay now so you can set okay suppose if you want to um, has the common area from these two circles so you need to go to this hatch select instead of selecting object you need to use here pick point so that area will be selected which is common press enter then you can you can also set the another pattern like this but usually nc31 is used then just preview it it is too dense just double click and set the scale so that would be hatched now next option is that text multi-line text click on multi-line text prepare a box to drawing or sorry for a particular giving text suppose if I draw here at top A token. You can select this one and you can change the size here and you can set different other properties and say okay. So that autocade will be uh, displayed over there. Instead of that, there is a one more command that is D text. D text or short form is DT enter you can specify start point where you want to give the dimension you can specify height let us take a 4 enter then specify rotation angle keep 0 and you can type it here all dimensions are in mm so likewise you can use the d text so almost we have covered all the tools from this draw toolbar in the next video we are going to learn this dimension toolbar and properties toolbar thank you